Good day, welcome back to my cream. Today we have two food variety that is ready to be tasting. One is my favorite rhyme for me here, and another one is Super Jumbo DK, just a tree behind me. We also have a few variety that is swelling. So first let's uh, do the tasting first and then later I'm gonna give you a quick update on the swelling variety so you can expect what uh, coming next. Okay, so let's first uh, harvest the bar favorite. For bar favorite, I have one ripening here. There's no honey coming out, maybe in tomorrow, but I will have to uh, harvest today because according to the weather forecast, tonight it's going to rain. Wow, look at this. Nice cracking, good size, very soft. Have pretty big eye actually. It has been raining quite a bit, but I put a, cu a cup uh, cover the eye so it doesn't split. And it's almost unbelievable that this is growing here in New York. It looks like uh, growing all the way in California. And only the missing part is honey drooping out. And by the way, this is the first uh, main crop of the season. The one that's just from the tree. Early in the season, I have uh, one Breva. Look quite similar to this, but uh, uh, it was not as sweet because it was rain a bit when I have it ripening. But the pulse is one of the best. Now let's see if it will uh, surpass uh, what I had earlier in the season about a Breva. All right, it's 71, 72, let's say 70 grams because just a few grams it keep changing again because of the wind. Let's say it's 70 grams. So, yes, first main crop of the season, my favorite is 70 grams. I love big fig. So, let's cut open this one. It's just beautiful. I don't want to cut it. Nice and soft. Ho ho ho. What in the world? The name is my favorite. It's definitely it's my favorite too. It's I, I I don't know how to describe it. Simply beautiful. I I gonna let you just stare at it a little bit. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Let's see if it tastes as good as it look. Wow, the variety is thick and rich. Uh, nice berry flavor, more of that sweetness, and surprisingly, it's slightly uh, tart, slightly acidic. Probably it's spoiled, but I don't think so. Let me take another bite. Okay, so I can confirm it's a slight tartness, but it's super thick, uh, super rich, nice berry flavor, more of that sweetness. So everything is checked above with this variety. It's so nice, so good. If if I I have to keep uh, the variety, this is definitely a keeper. Doesn't matter how difficult or how easy or how expensive or whatever the reason will be, I definitely keep this variety for sure. And this is so good. And being said that, uh, I, I, I almost forgot to uh, clarify that uh, despite this good, it was uh, ripening uh, during uh, uh, raining. So the last few days, both of my uh, bar favorite and uh, Super Jumbo decays were swelling while uh, quite a, a bit of the rain it kept uh, pouring down. So that's just a slight clarification there. But for this variety, I, I can tell you right away. It's a uh, name bar favorite, and again, it's gonna be my favorite also. So for this variety, uh, for the main crop, it's uh, a little better than the Preva. But being said that, both of the crop they are excellent. Main crop and Preva, it's some of the best. And I can tell you right now, if you look into graphics, definitely recommend this variety. Look how productive and how it looks when it ripes. It's a beautiful stunning of a stunner. There's more cool way to, to, to have those uh, ripening.
Excellent, excellent. And now we move on to another variety, Super Jumbo DK. This is huge. You may not be able to tell how big, but look at the, the size of my hand to hold the, uh, the fruit. It's enormous. And we have a, a few more that are swelling. Let me uh, hand the camera. So here is a, another one that's swelling. And on the other side, it's even bigger. It, it's just enormous size at least 100 gram and have another one not as big but uh, also swelling there right there hmm. okay let's come back to the one that is ready okay so let's pick this one this one uh, not the first main crop of the tree it uh, actually the second the first one is not uh, fully ripe so i don't want to do or say anything about it but this one seems to be a perfect uh, fruit <laughs> beautiful beautiful color and ginormous inside hmm. all right here it is again i really impressed with the size beautiful beautiful color it's uh, medium eye no honey dropping out again it might be uh, not at the peak ripeness yet but it very soft so could not hold my breath any longer to pick this variety if this one is unripe it's okay uh, i have uh, another one that is swelling that equally impressive even uh, slightly larger so here is the two giant neck together. It's just the plus plus side this variety. Beautiful. All right, so it is a 100 gram. The wind uh, keep blowing, keep uh, changing the gram slightly. So it's a, uh, let's say it's 100 gram because sometimes it goes to 101 and sometimes it go back to 99. But we take 100. Let's cut open. Okay, inside not too bad, but uh, have a very thick, thick tyconium here. And I think I would let it uh, hang a little longer next time. It's a beautiful uh, pulse, look like a watermelon. I hope it tastes uh, similar too. But a uh, huge cavity without uh, any uh, honey inside there. Uh, let's see how it tastes. Wow, it's much better than I thought. It's uh, very sweet, uh, but it's not uh, not that berry flavor. It's mm, very light. It's kind of a melon-ish, uh, but uh, the prominent flavor is a uh, sweetness. It's uh, quite sweet. Maybe maybe you can say like moderate sweetness. And to me, at first I thought maybe a, a disappointing one but actually it's it's very good let me take another bite wow that was good it's very sweet like eating sugar or honey somehow like that and it's very juicy so it kind of uh, refreshing somehow uh, otherwise it's it's good flick uh, it uh, tastes better than it look uh, and it surprised me that it's very sweet since I don't see any uh, honey dropping out from the cavity or from the eye. But uh, it might be slightly underripe because the the honey not dropping out or it just this variety doesn't drop the honey. But overall, very good. But, uh, like it a lot since it's a, a huge, huge thick and its sweetness. Very nice, very good good color beautiful all right now let's move on to the swelling variety the coming uh, tasting variety this one is black madeira i got one uh, chain color and swelling this is great because it uh, mid august and it already swelling so this season is a very good season i have another uh, black madeira down here that also uh, have a fruit that swell let me uh, show you there 
so there it is I have one uh, swelling and changing color also and the rest of the tree is still quite young I don't think it's gonna be ripe anytime soon but when we have one it already swells it's not gonna be far so let's see despite all of the fruit it's quite small let's see what we can expect from this tree uh, it's a lot more productive than you you see here but uh, many of the, the smaller fruit I just picking out because it will not uh, ripe on time so I will just pick it and same thing with the the black Madeira that I showed earlier quite productive here okay move on to the next variety it uh, a bit down there so let's make a little way excuse me quick I gonna go see the other tree that has ripening fruit so this is a Montaigne Verde it's a green twig uh, not sure it's uh, probably ripe or about to drop I don't know we will see in a few days okay and the last two variety is over there but I just want to work uh, so really quick about the Violet de Bordeaux it just become my favorite this season look how productive they are and it has a fruit swelling everywhere I just picked out like four or five yesterday and it here uh, it still have more ripening there down there too it's everywhere it just uh, become my favorite really quick this season Actually, I want to show you really quick about the Campanieri. So, while at the Bordeaux and Campanieri really been a rock star this season, it uh, ripening its fruit early and reliable. I got two Campanieri tree. As you can see, the tree almost gone now. It's almost bare the fruit, everything. It ripened. Uh, I have been eating for a while. Uh, for this tree, it has more ripenings, but this specific tree, it uh, actually uh, dropped quite a bit. I don't know why it's still uh, dropping its fruits. But it, like half of it is ripening and half of it dropped. So it's gonna be the first one to finish the season. Uh, this is the, for this another tree, it dropped, but not as much as this one. Maybe it's not yet because still have uh, some more green one maybe can be dropped or gonna be ripe for this variety is a uh, olympian it start to swell like today or yesterday only there yeah, another one down there it's swelling we got two three of them swelling and if you remember from my pinching video when i pin this it's not even any bomb uh, showing but only the thin then it already uh, swelling its fruit already so this variety uh, doesn't take uh, eternity to ripe its fruit like the other uh, very late variety and another variety that has swelling is let me go on this side not the most exciting but uh, excitement for me this is a golden rainbow beautiful beautiful it start it just start to swell recently also the one that i say it's gonna swell it still stay there same thing but actually this one is the one that uh, swell earlier than that the one that i was talking about it's good size good shape beautiful fit but i don't know what it's gonna taste and this one, uh, if you have a yellow long neck, don't bother to get this one. It's quite too similar. And I said uh, last two variety, but actually uh, we have uh, another one, the last one here, the third variety here. Because it's so small, I couldn't see the tree. This is a Porocho Ramada. So this one it was uh, split open because uh, it was raining quite a, a bit and it also uh, over watering by my irrigation there's still water down there so yeah looking good uh, medium size fig beautiful stripe 
beautiful shape also I enjoy uh, the shape of this uh, fig and for this tree it likely to be a uh, reverted it doesn't show uh, stripe it's so weird uh, but only uh, this side is uh, it still uh, have a uh, stripe fruit all right so that's all i got for you today and see you soon next video bye bye